It's time now for the beer chill. Six o'clock news and it's late on this Friday evening, November 20th, 2015. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Williams. I'm your six o'clock news and on this Friday evening here. And our top story at six o'clock here is... El Morbaton, an Islamic military group, claims that it is jointly responsible for the attack on the Radisson Blue Hotel in Mali's capital, according to the Maritime News Agency, Al Akbar. In Los Angeles, a 16-year-old boy was charged with murder on Friday in connection with a killing of a police officer who was shot as he sat in his car outside of the department of headquarters in Los Angeles suburb of Downing Prosecutor's said. Montana's governor granted clemency on Friday to a man convicted of murder as a teenager in the 1979 bloodshed and death of a female husband in that case that ignited a debate about a severe punishment of teen offenders. Washington, the Obama administration indicated Friday that it had no plans to loosen up federal restrictions on John Fenn Power now convicted as fine for Israel to allow him to move to the Jewish state. A man was arrested Friday and charged with a murder and sex crime that is the death of a seven-year-old Kentucky girl whose body was found in the creek minutes after she disappeared during a football game. New Jersey Governor Chris Christie denied he was searched by a number of passengers on a border flight from San Francisco to Boston Friday morning. In Brussels, the European Union will step up checks in its citizens traveling abroad, tanning and gun control, and collecting more data on airline passengers. Ministers agreed on Friday in response to the Paris attacks a week ago. A thought in U.S. relations offers limited possibilities for military and military cooperation, says defense officials, but civilian casualties in Syria are concerned. Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe ups with its South China Sea. President Obama tried to land this pivot to Asia in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. A Utah school has apologized after an ninth grade teacher assigned students to withdraw propaganda for posters for ISIS. The teacher has been on the job for just a few months, giving in class to seven of students in her two world civic classes. President Obama's plan to protect millions from deportation for executive action seems to be blocked in the courts one year after he first announced about it. immigration every kids are letting that get in the way. Jackson, Mississippi, sometimes American politics is about ideas, part of by Jeffersons and Adams and Reagans, and sometimes it's all about strategy, which races are determined by the chess machinations of X rods and roads. A bank of state police detective was arrested on Friday in suspicion of conspiracy with a knockout steal in a methamphetamine distribution operation, federal officials said. Portsmouth, Arkansas, the U.S. Federal Reserve will want more uncertainty surrounding possible interest rate moves on a meeting by meeting basis after an initial rate at St. Louis Federal President James Bullock said on Friday. In New York, Brent oil settled on 1% higher on Friday on a pre weekend short covering, while U.S. crude settled lower but just about the $40 per barrel support to their struggles to defend after surging inventories. Washington, unemployment rates fell in 32 U.S. states last month, including Colorado, as employers nationwide added the most jobs in the many months this year. Okay, looking at the stock market report on the Friday year, the Dow, end of the day. Up 91.6 points at 17,822.81. SP Farmer up 7.93 at 2,089.17. But NASDAQ up 31.20 points at 5,104.92. Two new images of the Pluto and its biggest moon churn show the two worlds through the course of a full day, which is for them is 6.4 Earth days long. At the edge of a Milky Way, there's a small galaxy called Trangliam. Two, it's just 1,000 stars compared to the one in billion that's been in our own galaxy and in the states of star formation or over, leaving it dead. Scientists have run electric circuits into the plant's best good tissue for the first time paved away for potential energy applications. Triple the E. Play outbreak reaches California, now in six states. And that could... And memory of Bolivia. Three members of the family in Liberia have contacted Ebola two months after the country was declared free of the virus for the second time, health officials said on Friday. Many people using the day dog get early on work days, but enjoy the sleep later off days simply because they can. There's disruptive routine sleeper patterns can increase the danger for developing metabolic disease, for example, diabetes and heart disease. In Brooklyn, New York, Al Hanza box 1186 9 Street as Fire Department 2B at the second floor by 628 55 100. Multiple dwelling and additional one to one on the scene and then fire is definitely on hold. 
Peter Jell News Time is now 6 4, 10 and for us. Sports reporter tonight, the Boston Celtics will be at the Garden take on the Brooklyn Nets. Game time 7 30 p.m. The Golden State Warriors keep winning games 13 in a row now, possibly in a way to win NBA history next Tuesday against the Lakers. Historic Fenway Park, home of the Major League Baseball. Boston Red Sox is impressive being converted to football field for the first time since December the 1st of 1968 when the Boston Patriots played the Cincinnati Bengals as Notre Dame will be taken on Boston College. The Milwaukee Bucks are found way too quickly and now facing a reemergent star who likes getting through their free four line as Paul George looks to extend an impressive score and streak and keeps the Indiana Pacers resurgence on track in the matchup. Peter Channel News Times down 605 and it is 10 and a half for a Trevor Portier on this Friday evening here. Baby. And the James Stand in Newport Bridge is not looking good. 114 and 8 on the south hand side of the Mount Hope Bridge is a little slow. 95 on the south hand side is slow. From Pateket Escrow all the way to downtown Providence here, and then hit the brakes again from Route 37 in Cranston all the way up to Route 4 in East Greenwich here. 95 on the north hand side, we get an accident around Route 37 in Cranston, so expect delays at 95 north from Route 37 in Wark all the way up to downtown Providence here. Mass 195 on both ends of the slope from East Providence all the way up to Providence here. 295 on the south hand side, so from Route 6 in Johnson all the way out to Route 12 in Cranston, and 295 on the north hand side, it is slow from 95 in Wark all the way up to Cranston here. Due to some accidents on 295 northbound Route 12 in Cranston here. 146 on the south hand side, it is back from Route 15 in All the way out to Route 95, 95 and 146 on the north hand side, still from 95 all the way out to Lincoln Redown here, and 146 on both ends, still from Route 99 to Route 146A. 95 on the south hand side, it is so from 128 in Kenton all the way out to Route 295 in Annabur, doing an accident on 95 southbound before 295 in Annabur, so expect some delays here, 295 on the north hand side, slow before Route 95 in Annabur here, 24 on the south hand side, it is stop and go from 128 in Kenton all the way out to Harrison Wolf on the name on the hip brakes again after Route 123 in Brooklyn and Route 106 in West Bridgewater. We're doing an accident on 24 step and around Route 106 in West Bridgewater, so expect some delays here. 25 in the east band side, a little slow around Route 20 in Bourne here. 185 in the east band side, so from Dartmouth all the way up to Route 140 in the Bedford, doing an accident on 185 in the east band side here. And out in Worcester, 28 in the west band side, a little slow from Route 180 in Worcester all the way out to downtown Worcester here. 146 on the north bound side, then action before Route 29 in Worcester here. Looking at 120 in the south bound side, it is so from Beverly all the way up to Peabody doing an exit around Route 114 on Route 128 here on the south bound side, source plus delays here. And 120 in the south bound side, it is so from Route 3 in Burlington all the way up to Route 3, and then you hit the brakes again from Mass Pack in. Western all the way up to Route 9 on Route 120 in the southbound side. And then you cut the hit brakes again on 128 southbound from Route 1 in Norwood all the way after the Braintree split. 128 on the northbound side it is so from Braintree split all the way out to Route 24 in Brockton here. In Randolph here. And 128 on the northbound side it is slow from Route 9 in Wolseley all the way out to Route 2 in Lexington here. And then you hit brakes again on 128 from 4225 Lexington all the way out to Route 1 in Peabody here. Southeast Expressway on both ends slow from the Brain Tree Split all the way up to the Mass Pack and Timber Hill Tunnel on both ends it is slow here. Mass Pack on the west band side it is slow for Logan Airport and then here hit breaks again after Route 93 in Boston all the way out to Route 9 in Framing and hit the breaks again from 495 West Bridge Graft in here. Mass Pack in the east band side it is slow before Route 495 West Bridge and Mass Pack in the east band side it is slow from Route 3 in the east all the way out to the Austin Brighton Tolls here. And Mass Pack in the East Band side, it is off from Route 93 in Boston all the way out to the South Boston here. 495 in the South Band side, it is off from Hudson Oriens to 290 Marlborough. And 495 in the South Band side, from Route 9 in Westbury all the way at, after the Mass Pack in Westbury here. Route 93 on the North Band side, it is off from Summer Square in Somerville all the way out to Medford here. And 93 on the South Band side, it is off from 128 all the way out to Stoneham here. 93 in the northbound side, so after Route 128 in Red and here. 700 count tunnels are slow here. Route 1 in the northbound side, it is slow from Route 99 in Revere all the way up to Route 128 here. 
Up north, route 3 to the north, front side, so from Bilwicka, stretch and then hit breaks again from 495 low all the way up to New Hampshire border here. 93 on the north hand side, it is so from Route 125 and then over all the way up to Route 113 in Lawrence there. And 95 is looking good from 120 in the New Hampshire border. Get an acted on Route 1 around Route 95 in Denver. So expect the delays here. 93 on the north hand side, so from 125. Do then exit in a 93 northbound around Route 125 and end over here. 495 on the south hand side, so for Route 3, you took all the way to Route 27 in Westbury there. And 495 on the northbound side, a little over the Tewksbury stretch here. 93 on the south hand side is slow from 293 in Manchester, all the way to Derry here. 95 on the northbound side, a little slow around Route 101 around Hampton Tolls here. And on the main track, looking good from York to Augusta via Portland Air. And 295, looking good from Portland Garner and 295 northbound side. A little slow around Route 95 and Garner, Matt, Garner, Maine here. Okay, let's take a look at the MBTA alerts here. Freeline D. Brent Spencer and Martin Lays. Manifan Trial Spencer and Martin Lays with Disabled Train at Milton. Sylvan Nelson Park Spencer and Martin Lays with the Traffic and Sylvan Nelson 3G Tour. I'm in an 88th Backland Pier. Connect at Norman Avenue here. Come here, I'll frame a whistle line train 520, 440 p.m. from Whistler Delay today, 10 50 minutes for an early mechanical problem. Frame a whistle line train 521, 255 p.m. from substation delay, 15 20 minutes today due to an early mechanical problem. I'm here. Franklin Line train 737, 445 p.m. from substation delay today, 10 to 15 minutes for an early mechanical problem. here. and the ferries, they are looking good. Peter Channel News, I'm Zale 611 here on this late, on this Friday evening near the gateway to the weekend here. It's 10 alpha. Oh. Weather report here for tonight. Most of the coast is going to be chilling with no about 31 degrees. No open about 5 to 7 miles an hour here. For a Saturday, most of the coast about 48 degrees. No open about 5 miles coming in the north piece in the afternoon. So if you are going to the Milford to watch the North Lancers boys soccer game against the Douglas Staggers, bundle up because it's going to be chilly out. For Saturday night, slight touch of showers, but after 3 a.m., most of the coast about 36 to 35 degrees. And light east wind chest pressure in 20%. For Sunday, touch of showers, most of the coast have about 35 degrees. And lighter variable wind became in the west around 5 miles an hour. In the morning, chest patients 40% in the renewed principal amounts of less than 10 minutes possible. For Sunday night, chest and shower main before 8 p.m. Parts of Costco low about 29 degrees. Don't forget about 7 miles an hour. Chest patients 30%. For Monday, Sunday's Parts of Costco have a 42 to about 22 degrees. For Tuesday, Sunday's Milk Costco have a 43 to about 23 degrees. For Wednesday, Sunday's Parts of Costco have a 47 to about 29 degrees. For Thanksgiving Day, most of the Sunday's Parts of Costco have a 34 to about 36 degrees. But for Friday, most of the Sunday's have a 36 degrees. Currently, you're not near. 41 degrees with first class. Here the day, 2%. And that is going to be it for the Peter Chell. 6 o'clock news in this November 20th, 2015, here on a Friday. I'm Peter Chell. Good evening. I'm going to buy the day to the 3 11 o'clock. We're at 8 o'clock. Have a good evening.